good morning and welcome to the second video in the solve with me video series this video is for the 10th standard students grammar where i'm going to solve 20 questions from this second method in which verbs and tenses can be questioned for your ssc board exam okay this is the mcq type kind of question where you'll have to be careful take the hint from the question and accordingly decide which of the options is the correct one okay so let's start the first one you can immediately see that there is no this is the first one there is no subject okay the subject is absent so you know immediately what is the tense that you have to put it is the imperative right okay so when you know you have to put the imperative what is the thing that you need to do you need to look out for the clue in the sentence which tells you which person you have to conjugate according to now where is the clue here the clue is here okay votra is the indication of which subject vu because votra is a possessive adjective for vu okay so which of these options corresponds to vu this is not for vu the is is the ending for tu so this is out it is an ending for il which we never even have in the imperative so this is out ez is the ending for vu this will be your correct answer okay shwasi se next one Amanda dash la cuisine consomme Marie et Thierry. This is a structure. It's very clear. Okay, this is the con clause where you have con plus passé composé. So con plus passé composé will always give you wherever the other clause may be. It will always be in the imparfait. Okay, so which of these is the imparfait? Fait is not because fait is the simple present. Furry is it furry or is it fuzzy? Furry is the future root plus imparfait ending. So this is not because this would be the conditional future root plus imparfait ending conditional. So it's not this fuzzy. Okay, this is the imparfait root and this is the imparfait ending, which will give you the imparfait. So it is this one. Okay, Amanda fuzzy la cuisine. Let's see. I'm back here because of this structure that you can find in the second part of the sentence. Okay, let's go to the next one. See, you back through, you dash fatigue. Now, this is another structure. The moment you see C, you know it is a structure. Okay, so this clause is in the form C plus present. Okay, can you see this pal here? It is present. So you know when it is C plus present, the next verb has to be in the simple future okay don't make the mistake of future prosh simple future when one clause is c plus present the other one has to be simple future so why it is out because this is the future prosh sara and sari now both of these start with ser which is the correct uh, root okay for etra in the future now look at the ending is it es or is it sorry is it as or is it ais as is the ending for future AIS is the ending for conditional. Okay, so this will be the correct answer because you have to put it into the future tense. Okay, so it will be C tu pal tro tu sera fatigue. Next one. Pendant mon enfance, je dash le voyage en train. Now, this is a unique one. Pendant mon enfance. Let's talk about something in the past, right? During my childhood. Enfance is childhood. Okay, so during my childhood, it's talking about something of the past. Now, is it that the person was scared of one train journey, or was it a general action of the past? You have learned this last year, right? When you're talking about a general action of the past, okay, something that was repeated, okay, something that kept on happening, or something that continued for a longer period of time, which is the tense you have to use. It is the imperfect. Okay, you use the imperfect for. A past action that has happened over a long period of time. That is why we call it the past continuous. So, which is the past continuous option here? Je crains is wrong because this is the passé composé. This is the this is the full verb plus imparfait ending, which would make it the conditional. So, this is wrong. This is the imparfait of craindre. Okay, the verb here is craindre, which means to Fear, okay, or to get scared of something. Next one, Marta is super dash 
Dutra, those in uh, the clue word here is those in air, which is in one hour. I told you that whenever the timing is less than 24 hours, you have to use the future brush. Okay, the moment it's, it exceeds 24 hours, you go into the simple future. Now, this is one hour, which is less than 24, so you have to use the future brush. Okay, this is a simple future, so out. This is the future brush. Okay, earlier conjugated as vo plus the full verb. So, this is the answer. Vn the de sondra is the passe reso. So, that is completely wrong because this you can see in one hour is obviously a future action. Future brush because it is less than 24 hours. Next one dash sits front so this is like the first one in the previous slide okay there is no subject so you know it is the imperative okay it's the imperative because there's no subject now take the clue from the sentence it is still to play okay it's giving you the clue here the comes from two okay so you have to take it for two this is obviously out because ez is a sign of who okay now remember both these are in the present tense remember e are verbs the verb here is repetitive, right? E are verbs, okay, in the imperative. In the present, it is actually like this, right? R E P E T E S to repeat in the present. But remember, for the imperative tense, the to form loses the final E. You have to drop the final E. That is how you get this as the answer, and this will be wrong. This will be the present tense for to, which is wrong because here we want the imperative where the s has been dropped okay next year yeah now straight away you are given the clue here year is the clue for per se composite so now per se composite is the easiest to identify it has two words okay the auxiliary and the participle so this is create is the present tense this is out create is the amperfe this is out it's very obvious that this is the answer because you can see the auxiliary here and then you can see the participle so this is the answer Okay, so the next one, Ilya here is giving you the clue of past. Okay, because Ilya means a go, therefore it is something to do with the past. You have to use the passé composé here. Okay, now all these three are passé composé, so you need to be a little more careful here. The verb is obviously finir. Okay, you know that finir, participle of an IR verb is substitute the IR with I. Okay, the participle is fini. Now, which auxiliary does Fini take? Does it take avoir or etro? It's not Dr. Mrs. Van der Tram. So it takes avoir. Okay. And which of these? This is out because this is etro. Okay. Now both of these take avoir. Now which is correct? Is it FINI or FINIE? Remember for avoir, there is no need for any kind of agreement. So the participle remains as it is. This is the correct one. This is wrong. Because in avoir, we don't agree the participle. Next one, general mo. This is the clue. Up front, you are given the clue. General mo is generally. So something that is regular is generally, which means the simple present tense. Okay. Le magasin agua. You have to over it here. So un tu ver is a passé composé, right? Soon tu ver is completely wrong. It doesn't even exist because over is in the uh, passé composé with agua. So this is out. This is out. General mo is the clue for simple present tense. So this is the answer. Ouvre. Okay. Next one. Nous dash seulement du thé, s'il vous plaît. Now, this, there is no clear clue in the sentence as to which tense you have to put it into. So what will you do? Just consider the options. Okay. Now, if you have a sentence like this, only one of the options will be correct for the subject. So here they're testing you if you can match the correct option based on the subject not based on any clue in the sentence okay because there is no defining clue in the sentence so look at the last option voudre look at the ending this is the clear ending for ill so this is wrong okay ent is another ending for ill this is wrong so it has to be this oh and this is the ending for no okay so it will be voulon let's go ahead attente il dash la lettre d'un zamoum We've done one like this before. Don't is in a moment, which is less than 24 hours, which means we have to use the future brush. Okay, future brush is alir plus the full verb. There's no alir here, there's no alir here. 
this is a layer is va for il and then the full bomb. So this is your answer, il va ikrir. Now, the next one, can you see C here? Yeah, this sil is a C plus il. Okay, so it's actually a C clause. Now you have to decide uh, which of these is correct. And you know that the next verb here is in the condition. Okay, this is the future root plus amphiphy ending, you know, gives you the condition. So, what is the structure? It's C plus what gives you the condition. Okay, I've given you the structure, it is C plus amphiphy, which gives you the condition. So, which is the amphiphy here? A U is the passive composite, A is the simple present, A V is the uh, amphiphy. So, that is your answer. Okay, Sam, guess could you fail? Now this, the sentence is starting here, starting with the verb. So this will be the imperative. Okay. So, qu'est-ce tu fais? This is your clue here. Tu. Okay. So now, the verb here is traverser, which is an ER verb in the tu form. Ring a bell. Previous slide, we did the same kind of uh, question. Okay. So it is actually tu traverse in the present. Okay. With the S. Now, when we are doing imperative for to drop the s okay so it becomes traverse without the s so it is this one which is the correct answer okay then vous dash changer de vêtements pour la soirée demain now what is the clue word in the sentence can you find a clue word is there a clue word yes there is okay it's the last word of the sentence here demain means tomorrow which is a sign of what more than 24 hours in the future is the future sample okay so which of these con uh, corresponds to the future sample it is the voir which is irregular okay dua is the simple present the way is again the simple present the vray is the simple future okay the vray is the answer here because the only one which is in the simple future tense next one La semaine dernière. Now, what is la semaine dernière? Last week. The dernière is a clue for past. Okay? Past tense. Now, look at it. It's talking about an... It's talking about a weather condition of the past. Now, when you're talking about weather, is it for one day, one second that the weather is so-and-so? No. It's for a period of time. Like, like a month or for a, a particular season, right? The weather is a, a something that is continuous. So when you're talking about things that are continuous in the past, I told you you have to use the amparfe. Okay? So which is the corresponding amparfe for il here? Fe is not because fe is present. Okay. Fara is not because fara is simple future. So it has to be fuzzy. Next one, silvu play dash you see. Now here the clause is beginning with the a verb. Okay, so it is imperative. Amperative for who? Who is the person here? The clue is waiting for you here. It is vu. Okay. Now, which of these co corresponds to vu? Obviously, not this one because this is a simple future. We don't have a simple future in the amperative. Okay. Now, uh, is it bien? No, because bien is for tu. It is veni. Okay. Now, dema corresponds to tomorrow which is the simple future tense you have to put a layer in the simple future is it way no way is a simple present now is it allere or is it ire it's ire okay because a layer the future root is ir and then you have to add the ending ai okay a layer is irregular when it comes to the future root it is ir so it is ire then there is nothing like this okay there's no word like allere only now the next one is Again, a uh, sentence structure to C here plus a V is in the imperative. Okay, so C plus imperative would give you which tense? Conditional. Okay, so il, the conditional is remember the future root plus C, amparfe ending. So the future root for, I mean, the future root for a layer is what? We just done it, sir, right? So this is the only one which makes sense. AIT is the amparfe ending. Next one, la bonne is the maid. Okay. Dash chez eux depuis six mois. 
depuis is the clue, it's since it gives you the clue for the simple present tense as I've told you. Okay, so which is a simple present tense? Travaillera no. This is the simple future tense. Travailler no. This is the imperfect. Travail is the uh, simple present tense. L'année dernière nous dash euro. Now, l'année dernière is giving you the clue that it is last year. It is the passé composé that you have to use here. Now, all these three options are in the passé composé. So the verb that you have to use is visiter. Okay. How do you get the participle? ER verb, so you cancel ER, put the accent, becomes visite. Then what do you do? You have to decide which is the auxiliary you take for visite. It's not Dr. Mrs. Van der Tram, so you have to take the auxiliary avoir. No avoir becomes avant. With avoir, we don't agree the participle, so it remains as it is. So avant visite becomes your answer. And the last one, ma grand mère dash la jambe hier. Hier is yesterday. Okay, which gives you the indication that it is passé composé more than 24 hours ago. So is it sarcas? No. Sarcas is, it's not sarcas. Sarcas is a uh, present tense to break. Okay, it's not vacasser. Vacasser is the future trash. A layer plus full word. So this is wrong. Sarcas is correct. It's the uh, passé composé and it's a reflexive verb also. So it is être and the, the participle is also agreeing with the subject okay so this is the answer per se composite i hope you understood how to do this kind of exercise for your board exam it carries three marks so please pay attention to it okay and i hope uh, this video makes it easier for you to understand this kind of question thank you